traditionally you do very well in the UK in the aerospace market. Are these machines going to an aerospace customer? These machines are going into Boeing's brand new UK facility, Mark, which we're very proud of. Um, initially, we're going to install four machines in an FMS line that's capable of taking up to six machines with three load stations, fully automated, lights out, 24-7 manufacture. I'm going to take a big guess here. I mean, the way the machines are actually configured, are they looking at more the landing gear side of Boeing? Yeah, there's no secret that Boeing's facility is geared up to make uh, actuator components for landing gear. So what we'll be making on these machines are aluminium prismatic parts where we're going to cut them extremely quickly, fewer number of setups, completely automated lights out. The guys shouldn't need to go to the machines really, they should be loading parts in the load cell and the system should run the rest of the, uh, the productivity for them. So why do they choose Hecate then, Lee? Well, this was a... Um, it was a blind tender, so we, we were quoting against um, a size and specification that Boeing had put together. We don't know who else was, uh, was involved in the tender. We put forward um, a very high-end, industry four driven five-axis solution, um, and we were selected as, the, as the, the winning supplier for this particular cell. And bearing in mind that you've been uh, a great supporter of the AMRC, do you think those sort of links help uh, the Starag Group in reference to selling machines to Boeing? Well, AMRC are integrating the solutions as well, so I'm sure that our links with the AMRC must have helped. And as you know, we have a close cooperation, and AMRC have already been out to the plant. Uh, AMRC will be using this technology to prove out the components so that they're all tested offline before they go into Boeing's facility. Lee, at Chemnitz, their Hecate factory, you build the H, L and X machines. Now, this is the X machine behind me, but tell us a little bit more about the specification. What this means, Mark, the X means it's a five-axis machine, so it's got a trunnion table. The other machines are four-axis with just a, a flat B-axis table. Now, when you're building these machines, is it basic machines or is it what the customer needs are specifically? It's a modular kit set, so we have a number of different spindles, a number of different uh, opportunities to put up to 400 tools in the tool carousel. We have different um, tables, you can have a rotating table, you can have a turning table option, four or five axis. So whilst it's a standard kit set, we build them to suit what the customer's looking for. One thing I've noticed on this machine is the touchscreen uh, control. Is that something a little bit different from you guys? Well, that's, that's fairly new to us, and we're still using the Siemens 840D controller but we've given the operator more functionality on the screen so he's got his on the left side of his screen he's got his normal Siemens functions on the right side of his screen he's got a split screen as if you hope you would have at home and he can pull up drawings he can pull up models he can have a camera system so he can see what he's cutting in there you could do anything that you could do on a second screen and the machines uh, behind us they're very much uh, aimed at the certain sectors with automation in mind with automation or as a standalone machine. So uh, these machines, as we're going to talk about the customer in a minute, are for an automated system. People do buy these machines as a twin pallet standalone machine. We also do a single pallet version, but that is to link into a small FMS system.